Well, in this unit, we will practice finding the unknown sides of special right triangles, specifically the 30-60-90 triangle and the 45-45-90 triangle. The 30-60-90 um, the triangle is the new one that we have recently learned. And this is the pattern that we observed. Every 30-60-90 triangle is going to have a, uh, a short leg and then a longer leg. The short leg is always going to be the one that's across from the 30 degrees. So even if the drawing is not to scale, you know that the short leg will be across from the 30 degrees. The, um, the long leg will be the one that's across from the 60 degrees. So this is the long leg. And of course there's the good old hypotenuse. But every, it's all about the short leg we found. As you can see by the variables here, um, the short leg is our x. Then the long leg will be x times radical 3. And uh, the hypotenuse is 2 times x. Okay, so another way of looking at it is um, whatever the short leg is, the long leg will be short times radical 3, and the hypotenuse will be 2 times short. Okay, that's another way of saying the same thing. So it's short, short radical 3, and 2 short for the hypotenuse. So keep that in your mind. Also, it's worth remembering that every 30, 60, 90 triangle like this one is half of an equilateral triangle like this one. That's why, um, for example, if this were 5, okay, meaning this length from here to here, if this is 5, um, according to this pattern, the hypotenuse should be double this, which is 10. But if you understand that uh, this is half of an equilateral triangle, this will not be something that you have to memorize. It'll be common sense because um, obviously if this is 5, then this length over here is also 5 because we're splitting it down the middle. That means this side of the equilateral triangle is 10, which means that all three sides are 10, 10, 10, 10. So if you keep in the back of your mind that this 5 is, a, is half of a, a whole side, then of course the hypotenuse is going to be double that. Of course it's going to be 10. So the only mystery uh, was the altitude, which of course in this case would be 5 radical 3. But that's one less thing for you to memorize or uh, keep straight if you know that the hypotenuse is of course, uh, just a full side of an equilateral triangle. The other triangle pattern that we learned was the 45-45-90 triangle, which was like this. And we're very fami familiar with this one at this point from previous lessons. But um, as you can see, it was leg, leg, and then leg radical 2. So we would say leg. This is always isosceles. These will always be the same. And then the hypotenuse will be leg radical 2. So let's see how this works. Um, so in this assignment, these uh, 30, 60, 90 triangles will be uh, mixed in with the 45, 45, 90 triangles. So be ready for that. Let's start with number nine. It's all about the short leg. If we have that, then we are golden. So uh, we see that this is the 60. That means this is the short leg across from the 30. So if we've got the short leg, um, the hypotenuse is going to be double that. So this is going to be uh, 16. And the long leg you just multiply it by radical 3. So this should be 8 radical 3. So u is 16, v is 8 radical 3. 
All right, so it's pretty easy when they give us the short leg. Okay, already this one is a little trickier. They did not give us the short leg. Did they, is this the hypotenuse or the long leg? Yeah, that's the hypotenuse, okay? So those of you who are sort of visual thinkers, you will understand that the hypotenuse is uh, double the short leg. So this is the short leg, the Y. So if this is double the short leg, um, that means the, uh, the short leg must be half of this. So since I have 8 radical 5, this short leg must be 4 radical 5. Okay, all I did was take half. So I sort of divided this by 2. Okay, and that's where that came from. Now, to get the uh, long leg, I take the short leg and I multiply it by a radical 3. So here's the short leg, 4 radical 5. And now, according to our pattern, to get the long leg, I should multiply it by radical 3. So I have 4 radical 5 times radical 3. Well, the w it turns out that you can just multiply these together. 5 times 3 is 15. So this is going to make 4 radical 15. But uh, your calculator will do this. So if you're ever in doubt, just put it in your calculator to find out. Okay? So x is 4 radical 15, and y was 4 radical 5. Okay, number 11. So, let's see. We are given the long leg. All right, if the long leg is 5 radical 3, and uh, we know that to get the long leg, we take the short leg and we multiply it by radical 3, that means this must have been 5. So this must be 5, that's why this is 5 radical 3. And once we see that that's 5, to get the hypotenuse over there, we're going to double this. So this should be 10. So y should be 5, and x should be 10. Okay? Now, those of you that are visual learners, that's just going to be common sense to you. You're going to see the 5 radical 3, and you're going to go, oh, well, if that's 5 radical 3, this must have been 5, and this would be 10. And that's it. And you're already working on the next problem. Or you probably didn't even watch this part of the video because you already knew that you had it right. Um, but for those of you who are not visual learners and you need just a pattern that you can just follow, um, if I were to sit here and label everything according to the pattern that we learned, okay, the, the pattern that goes short, short radical 3, and too short for the hypotenuse. Um, this is what that would look like on this problem. Okay, this, of course, this is uh, the, whoops, I meant to write short. This is the leg that is short, and we always start from that. So this should be short radical 3. All right, so this should equal short radical 3, if you will. And uh, this should equal 2 short. Um, so since they gave us the long leg, you can think of it as uh, dividing both sides by radical 3 to get the short leg. Now, again, my visual learners, this was obvious to you, so you, you would never need to do this. But if you're not a visual learner, it might be helpful to have a pattern that you can use. Um, short, short, radical 3, too short. Just divide both sides by radical 3. But in this case, these radical 3's cancel out, and you're left with the fact that the short leg is just equal to 5. So that tells you that this is 5, because the short equals 5, and there it is. And this is 2 times short, so that means it's 2 times 5, which is in fact 10. The other way is quicker, if you understand it. 
Okay, so again, my visual learners, you see the hypotenuse is 10. That means the short leg must have been 5. All right, because we double it to get the hypotenuse, um, which means that the long leg must be 5 radical 3. So that's the quickest way to do it. Um, if you're not a visual learner, then you might have done it this way. You might have said to yourself, yes, this is the short leg. Um, this is going to be short times radical 3. And this is going to be too short. All right, but too short should equal 10. So you could say to yourself, if I want to get the short leg, I will divide by 2. So that's going to give you short equals 5. So that tells you that the short is 5. And if the short is 5, then that tells you that this is 5 radical 3. That's the long way. The other way is quicker if you understand it. Okay, look at number 13. Ah, oh, this is the 45, 45, 90. My visual learners will recognize this is 8 radical 2. So that means this must be the, uh, the leg, because the hypotenuse is always leg radical 2. So this 8 right here must be the leg. So that means this is 8 and 8. Looking at number 14. OK, this is the short leg over here. So this is short. This is too short, because that's the hypotenuse. And this is short times radical 3. 12 is the only number I've got, so I'm going to deal with that. Um, I could get the short leg by dividing both sides by radical 3. That way these radical 3's are going to cancel out. And that's going to give me short equals, and I could put this in my calculator, um, but this is going to give me 4 radical 3. So that tells me that the short leg is 4 radical 3. Okay, so I could take that. So there's my short leg. So that means that this is 4 radical 3. Okay, so that's why. But so now that I know that the short leg is 4 radical 3, I could put that here. That means x is going to equal 2 times 4 radical 3, because it's 2 sh times the short leg. So that should be 8 radical 3. OK, so y is 4 radical 3, and then x is 8 radical 3. It's probably the best way to do that one. Um, number 15. Aha, this is the hypotenuse. Um, so let's avoid making a decimal. Let's be careful. So let's see, which is the short leg, A or B? Well, obviously B looks shorter, um, and it is. But just be careful, because the drawings are not always to scale. The short leg is always across from the 30. Anyway, so B is the short leg. OK, if B is the short leg, that means this is the hypotenuse is always double the short leg. And this is the short leg times radical 3. It's all about the short leg. Well, we are only given one number, the 3. So we can solve this to find the short leg. So um, I'm just going to divide both sides by 2. Now, obviously, 2 does not go into 3. So we're just going to leave it as a fraction. Do not make a decimal. I repeat, do not make a decimal. 
we're pretty much only going to use decimals when it's a real world problem and then that would make more sense alright so the short leg is 3 over 2 so where is the short leg? oh it's up here that's B so that means B here it's the short leg and short is 3 over 2 so that means B is 3 over 2 okay so that's one of our answers um, but then A is supposed to be the short leg times radical 3 so the short leg is 3 over 2 so that means A will be 3 over 2 radical 3 or we could have said three, 3 radical 3 over 2 that would be the same thing so that's how you do that alright so that's number 15 uh, so number 16 this is the short leg um, this is the hypotenuse which should equal double the short leg alright and this is the long leg which should equal the short leg times radical 3 <laughs> well hmm 11 times radical 3 short leg times radical 3 um, you could think of it this I mean it should be obvious to you that the uh, the short leg must be 11 like look at the position 11 radical 3 short radical 3 short must equal 11 um, but another way to think about it is we're just solving this for the short leg so we can think about it as dividing both sides by radical 3. So if I divide both sides by radical 3, um, in this case, the radical 3's cancel out on both sides. So that tells me that the short leg is in fact 11. So short does equal 11. So that means that since uh, um, since B equals the short leg that means B equals 11 alright so that's one of our answers and of course the hypotenuse is 2 times the short leg so that means A is 2 times 11 which is 22 okay so we did this first, which gave us that, which gave us this. All righty then. Um, anything else? Oh, a couple more. Number 17. The 30, 60, 90 triangle. So this is the 30 up here. So, so this is the short leg. I feel like there should have been a variable down here. So I feel like this got cut off. But anyway, this was probably supposed to be B down here. Um, but uh, this is the short leg. This is the long leg. So this should equal the short leg times radical 3. And this um, is the hypotenuse. So, oh, this is kind of going to be in my way. So, because this is a hypotenuse, um, this should be, this should equal 2 times the short leg. Yeah, I guess I'll just put it over here. Alright, 2 times the short leg should equal this hypotenuse. Um, this is the only number that I have. So I'm going to uh, divide by 2 to get the short leg. If I divide by 2 on both sides, look what happens. These 2's cancel each other out, but these 2's also cancel each other out. So that leaves me knowing that the short leg is radical 2. Alright, so the short leg is radical 2. That gives me this, 
All right, that means this side, which probably was supposed to be b. All right, so b equals radical two. Um, but then I can also put it in here. So that means that a is supposed to equal the short times radical three. So that so the short is radical two. So I'm going to put radical two where it says short. So that's going to become radical two, radical three. And uh, if you weren't sure, you could put that in your calculator. But as you can see, when you have two radicals multiplied together, you can go ahead and do the multiplication. So a is radical six, and b is radical two. All right, last but not least, number 18. Oh, well, this is a 45, 45, 90 trend. And uh, the rule for this is uh, leg, same leg, and leg radical 2. 7 is the only number I have, so I start with the 7. Um, to get the leg, of course, I will divide both sides by radical 2. That's going to give me, um, you know, you could put this in your calculator. I do not want a decimal. This tells me that the leg is going to equal 7 radical 2 over 2. That's the leg. Um, well, guess what? These two are the legs. So these are both 7 radical 2 over 2. So that means n equals 7 radical 2 over 2 and m equals 7 radical 2 over 2. Alright, and that is the end of this assignment.